Shigella is a bacterium and it causes uh, dysentery, which is uh, characterised by being very severe um, bloody diarrhoea with mucus. It's reputed to cause 750,000 deaths per year, uh, it, mostly in the under fives. It tends to be associated with a lack of hygiene and sanitation, but also in displaced populations during wars and conflicts. The earliest live strain of Shigella that we have is called NCTC1, the cable strain. And we now know from looking at military and historical records that this came from a private who died in March uh, 1915 on the British Western Front. Private Ernest Cable was treated at the 14th Stationary Hospital in Wimmera in France. NCTC1 was collected by a man called Brulton Alcock. NCTC1 is interesting because it was isolated before the use and actually discovery of antibiotics. But interestingly, actually, when we grew NCTC1 in the presence of more modern antibiotics, actually penicillins in this case, we found NCTC1 was actually resistant to them. It was actually the bacteria and fungi that we get our antibiotics from that invented the resistance. Because NCTC1 is a live isolate, we can prepare the DNA directly from the bacterium. Um, we can use modern sequencing technology to determine the sequence of that DNA. By comparing NCTC1 to more modern Shigella, we plot the history of resistance to antibiotics over time. And what we see is that actually more modern isolates have become progressively more resistant to the same antibiotics, but also more broadly resistant to a greater number of antibiotics as we've used them in therapy. There still is no effective vaccine for Shigella in 2014. With uh, increased resistance to antibiotics, um, the need for Shigella vaccines um, is still great because the number of people who suffer from dysentery is still very high and wars and conflict and displaced populations are a feature of the modern world just as they were in 1914.